Hi there, today I'm going to share with you five pointers on how you're going to get the most out of a DA and how to use it correctly, alright? So um, if you don't have a DA, go buy one or borrow one. Uh, if you have a DA already, uh, get a pen and paper and let's go. Alright, tip number one, mark your backing plate. Right, DA works by orbiting and rotating, so to see if it's rotating or not, um, you mark it right take a tape and a marker all right so something like this all right of course you can just Mark it directly onto the backing plate, but um, I don't want to dirty my backing plate, although it's a bit dirty, but um, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so you can actually see whether it's rotating or not, right? Alright, let me. Alright, so if it's rotating slowly, it goes something like this. Okay? If it's rotating faster, it goes something like this. So, tip number one. Mark your backing plate. Okay, tip number two. Keep your pads flat. Right, so um, you apply some product here. Okay. You want to keep it flat like this. Okay, let me just spread it first. Okay, you want to keep it flat so that uh, it rotates like this. Okay, if it's tilted, alright, it's or slanted in sideways, uh, it's not rotating as much and then you will lose cutting. Okay, so you want to keep it flat as much as possible. Okay, tip number three. If you're using a softer pad for finishing or waxing, uh, you want to lift it up a bit, alright? So because okay, the weight of the machine itself will create more friction causing it to rotate less all right so the weight of the machine causing more friction so just lift it up a bit all right so let me just show you what i mean okay so just by the weight of the machine okay you notice that it rotates less okay so i want to lift it up a bit like this so you can actually see it rotates more all right so i'm actually getting more uh more performance more cutting with this like with this movement all right if it's like like that, alright, then it's a bit slower, and if I lift it up a bit and control it, alright, you will see that it spins, it rotates more, and it's working more and, and faster. Tip number four, to get more cutting, increase the speed of the machine, alright. So um, unlike a rotary, if you want to get more cutting, you apply a little bit more pressure. Uh, for the DA, apply as little pressure as possible in fact no pressure don't apply any pressure just glide the machine and speed up if you want more cutting right so if i want more cutting don't pressure it right by pressuring it you can see it's not spinning right so you want it to rotate you want it to spin so make it faster and move it right just having glided it Don't pressure it, don't pressure it. Doesn't, doesn't make a difference, it kills your pad, it doesn't make any, it doesn't give you more cutting, alright? Alright, lift it, alright, and just speed it up. Alright, this is what you want. Uh, tip number five, uh, choose the correct size pads for your DA. Now, how do you know if the pad, the size is correct? So, um, let's say this DA I got here, and I would put a seven inch pad, alright? And I put it on, center, and I turn it on, it feels a little bit more vibrative, alright? So it vibrates a little bit more and uh, it's not very comfortable to hold. So for this, I would go for the six or five and a half, uh, six inch maybe, alright? So it's smaller and uh, it vibrates less, alright? So with this, I can work more, comfort more comfortably and uh, I get 
more out of my DA. Right? So the DA that you have, um, try the pads that try different different sizes and see which one fits your DA the most. Okay, so um, the pointers which I shared just now has one common goal. Uh, it's so that the DA rotates, right? So basically you want it to orbit and rotate and in that way you will get the most out of your DA, right? You get the most cutting and the most performance out of it. So um, let me summarize, right? Number one, um, put a marker on your, back, on your backing plate. Number two, keep your pads flat, right? Number three, if it's a soft pad, you want to lift it up a bit. Number four, you don't want to pressure it for more cutting, right? If you want more cutting, um, increase the speed, right? And number five, choose uh, the suitable size pads, right? Too big a pad, cause more vibration. Uh, you want a pad that is just nice, so that it's less vibration and you can work smoothly, right? So um, that's all I got for today. Uh, if you have any comments or any suggestions, you can just feel free to comment on the comment box and uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.